quick update week two this is me trying to keep up with it even though i am already a couple of days behind because it's now tuesday but um that's fine as long as i keep up with it so week two of start solution weight loss journey healthy eating healthy habits and all that stuff it is so super hard to eat the way I want to eat when not living in a clean environment so I live in a big household there are several of us in the house and so there's four adults so I am not a hundred percent in charge of the food that comes into the house because there are children there there's another two adults and then my husband so there's like four adults in total in the house and they bring in snacks and junk food and processed food and and I'm all right, to be honest, on the processed food, as in, the, you know, they eat burgers and sausages, and they're not a problem. Like, I don't really bother with those, and when I smell them cooking, you can smell all the grease coming off them. They don't really bother me. But the trigger foods for me are, like, when they bring in some special bread, but it's like a white bread, so it's full of oils and stuff like that, or when they bring in crisps or chips, if you're American, or chocolate or cakes and pies and all those kind of snacks things especially later in the day when it's like harder you it's not willpower is it it's like kind of like decision fatigue is not as strong so you end up picking on it like yesterday i had a slice of apple pie for no reason the day before that it was an ice cream and yeah it's really hard to just not eat that stuff that are in the house because they are designed for us to crave them they're designed to be high calories high fat and our bodies are designed to eat high calories and high fat but we're not designed to live in a place where abundance we're supposed to crave the high fat and high calories because food would normally be scarce if we were living as we're, we're supposed to but obviously we've designed a world where food is just completely accessible and with that the corporations have designed food that we want to eat a lot of which is why you never have a problem you never hear someone who binge ate a load of broccoli you always hear that they binge ate crisps and cake so the foods are just designed that way and when they are in the house it is super super hard not to eat them even if i'm not hungry and I've really been struggling with that. My meals have been spot on. You know, um, I've had pretty in fact i think every single day i've had some porridge or oats in one way or another be it overnight oats with some berries and some soy milk or hot oats with banana some flax seeds some pumpkin spice in that you know it's always been oats and then lunches i've had things like pasta salads couscous salads sometimes it's been leftovers from the night before dinners have just been things like risottos curries stews and actually on sunday i spent some time batch cooking a load of things just so that they were easy to have this week because one of my other problems is and I spoke about this in another video is that because I work from home and I work for myself it's so very easy to work through my meal times because I'm not starving because especially in the morning I have a porridge and I will have oats and it's quite filling and I so I, I get up really early but I'm talking like five six o'clock and I'll have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and then maybe about eight o'clock I start getting a bit peckish so I'll have a banana but I'm not really really hungry so I'm not ready for any oats yet and then maybe about 10 or 11 o'clock I'll have the oats and then obviously I'm working this whole time but by the time lunchtime rolls around, so that 12, 1 o'clock time, I'm well into my work and I'm not feeling hungry because the oats are still keeping me going. So I get to this, I'll just do this, finish this, finish this, and I end up working through my lunch. And then I get to about 3 o'clock and I start to get hungry and I'm thinking, I'm not going to be able to wait until dinner time because if I do that, I'm going to start picking. But then if I eat now I don't want my dinner till much later and when I fall into that trap I end up not wanting any dinner till about eight o'clock at night and then I can't be bothered to cook so I end up having or recently had had toast or bowls of cereal which is not a good habit so I was trying to kick that habit and make sure that I have three meals a day and they don't have to be big meals if they don't have to be at set times I just need to eat my three meals and it's trying to move that breakfast and that lunch a bit earlier so that I'm eating my dinner at a pro proper time when I can be bothered and the whole point of batch cooking is I don't have to do anything other than heat it up so when I've recorded this I'm going to go inside going to go and get changed I'm going to the gym because I'm doing my still doing my treadmill challenge to try and get into running again and then I've got to go to the supermarket and my dinner is already made I have a butter bean curry in the fridge 
ready to go all i need to do is cook up some rice which is super easy and throw some veggies in and boom dinner is served so the batch cooking was for me to be able to just have the three meals it takes away that barrier of i can't be bothered because it's already made so yeah um my week so this is week two update so my week two was really hard with the the snacking on the rubbish that was my problem and so when i went to get weighed because obviously i still attend a slimming world group because i like the accountability of the group i'm in and the lady who runs it is fantastic it's not so much talking about all the sins all the time she talks about and i know people don't like the slimming world and i can't say i follow it 100 percent it's more like the starch solution stuff but she talks a lot about healthier foods eating your veggies filling your place with vegetables not being afraid to eat potatoes so i kind of like that and i i've maintained going because i like the accountability and that helps me so when i weighed and i got on the scales and she says to me you've lost half a pound and i was like i lost half a pound are you sure because i completely expected a, a gain or a maintain and she says yeah you've lost half a pound i went lost and she's like yeah yeah you've lost half a pound I'm like, okay so i took my book off her and went and sat back down and checked it because i really did not believe her gaining half a pound was what i expected and yeah i had lost half a pound so two weeks in a pound and a half lost the goal is to lose a pound a week so i am half a pound shy of where i want to be which is okay it's you know uh, i just need to make these habits better so update on my three dylan habits it was eat three meals a day go to bed by nine o'clock and no bread try to remember what the third one was the no bread one has been super difficult so i have haven't eaten bread as in bread from the loaf of bread and buttery and toast because that was one of my things but i have had a couple of bread rolls when they they have been brought into the house and that's something i need to figure a way to navigate and it could just be that i am just asking people for a while not to bring those kind of breads in the house because they are danger or at least hide them from me if um I'm not wanting to eat some lamb. My husband absolutely loves um, sweets, like midi gems and jellied sweets. And I just tell him to eat them at work because then it means I don't eat them. And I don't particularly like them. I just eat them because they're there, which is annoying. The go to bed at nine o'clock. I could say most nights I have been hitting that target. The idea is to be in bed for nine light out at 10 o'clock. And there's probably been about two times I've not managed it just because other things have been going on. But most part, I've been getting myself to bed at a better time. And I can really feel the difference. I feel better and have better energy. These three meals a day I've just talked about most of the time I'm managing it. Again, it's just been a couple of days where I have slipped into the old, old habits. In fact, there was one day where it was actually out of my control. I just didn't get managed to get my dinner and because we had to pop to Liverpool and I didn't get lunch and we were so late back I didn't get any dinner either and ended up on a bowl of cereal. So that wasn't fantastic. But it was a thing I just didn't have control of and but I also didn't have contingency plans in place for those things happening. Now I had batch cook so if that was to happen again i could just whack something out of the freezer warm it up and i have food fingers crossed that that would work so yeah um yeah so that's those three the treadmill thing that i'm trying to do is i want to get back into running not that i ever made it into being a full runner before it was still always hard but you know it's just i want to be a runner i like running when i have done it previously i've enjoyed it and so i set myself this challenge that i'm going to go on the treadmill and try and improve so much that i can eventually just run a solid 15 minutes on the treadmill non-stop doesn't matter what the speed is i just need to be able to run 15 minutes and then once i've hit that goal i will increase it to maybe trying to run 20 minutes then 30 minutes then increasing my time and then increasing the incline and then eventually going outside and the goal for the year is to try and run a full 5k any speed start to finish so i did only i did two sessions at the treadmill i actually wanted to do three but i only managed to do two so i did the one on the tuesday and that wasn't super fantastic i was a little bit tired and actually i was feeling a little bit off i ran two minutes on two minutes off two minutes on and then it was two minutes off and one minute on i was really struggling to get to that two minutes and i was supposed to then go to the gym on the thursday but on the wednesday and thursday i was still feeling a little bit under the weather i'm not really sure what it was you know you're just kind of like feeling off that was me and i didn't feel like jumping on the treadmill it was like i had an upset tummy without having an upset tummy and i felt if i weren't running on the treadmill i might get poorly if that even makes sense but on sunday we went to the gym and we actually walked to the gym did the treadmill and had a nice walk back which was 
was really good it gave me some like 15,000 steps for the day in like two hours but it was good and that treadmill session was fantastic I did a two minute run a two minute walk a six minute run a two minute walk and then a two and a half minute run which I think took me up to the 15 minutes and I got things 1.62 kilometers was the distance that was the best distance and the best running time I've done so far so that was nice to find that after four sessions I've improved a little bit but yeah so that's my update for week one lost half a pound when I didn't think I was going to lose anything improved a bit on my running and for the most part stuck to my habits but I'm struggling with the keeping the environment clean and keeping away from things that are in my environment that are making it I don't want to say unclean because that sounds like my house is dirty but just finding a way to combat the junk food that people are bringing in my house so yeah so that's my week two and I shall uh, keep you updated on week three bye for now